capitalism as we have known it might be summarized in the title of an article written by Milton Friedman entitled, The Social Responsibility of Business is to Increase Profits, which I think brilliantly describes, brilliantly describes unconscious capitalism. <laughs> As in, all we care about is making money, all we care about is profit, all we care about is keeping our shareholders happy. And we prefer not to look, that is to say to remain unconscious of the moral, social, environmental, damn, even economic cost of doing so. We're just not going to look at it. In recent years, however, we have become, we, investors, most, most uh, dramatically, have become aware of the costs of the profit at any cost school of capitalism. Because a few years ago, the system that supposedly places shareholder values, shareholder concern, over all other considerations, presided over the demise of $7 trillion in shareholder wealth. $7 trillion. How could that happen? How could such a thing happen? Because Wall Street and the business establishment forgot that business is a system. Business is a system that is comprised of many different components. Shareholders, certainly, absolutely, no question. If, as long as we're in capitalism, as long as we're in capitalism, there's, there are going to be shareholders, but also customers. You can't have a business without a customer. Employees, the community in which it operates, the environment, and ultimately the planet as a whole. So business is a system in which all of the components of that system have to somehow be accorded their proper due, if the system as a whole is going to thrive. So the, the folks who, who focused on the profit-only school of capitalism forgot it was a system, chose to ignore it was a system, whatever it was. And so by making profit the be-all and end-all, the system fell into itself. It collapsed into itself. And that was, of course, the accounting scandals of which I'm quite sure we have not yet seen the last. So unconscious capitalism, it's all about the money, period. Forget about everything else. Conscious capitalists, conscious capitalists say, well, as a matter of fact, we want to make money too. We definitely want to make money. But we're going to make money by honoring all of the components, all the parts of the system the employees, the customers, the environment, the communities that we live in, the co countries outside of the United States, the people who work in our shops there. And because we've got everybody on board, because we're honoring business as a system, we might even make more money than you unconscious capitalists. Huh, how's that? Heresy. Well, every year, the quarterly journal Business Ethics puts out its list of the 100 top corporate citizens every year. One year, DePaul University studied the companies on that list, studied the stock market returns of the companies on that list, and they found out that the 100 best corporate citizens outperformed the S&P 500 for that year. This was just a one-year study by 10 percentile points. Pretty good. But when you look at the longer view, when you take the longer view, this is one of the, one of the places where I'm, I will several times echo um, Paul and Dixon's remarks this morning. When you take that longer view, that is when the conscious capitalists really shine, really shine. A company called 
um, Towers Parent, global consulting firm, studied 25 companies that really, really excel in their relationships with their stakeholders. Uh, these included companies like Cisco Systems, um, Procter & Gamble, Southwest Airlines, and they studied their returns for 15 years. Over the course of those 15 years, the so-called stakeholder superstar companies outperformed the S&P 500 by 126% over a 15-year period. Most recently, last year, in, in the year 2005, one of my favorite studies came out. It was released by the people who put together the fortune list of the 100 best companies to work for. They studied those companies for seven years, and for seven years, over a seven-year period, the public companies on the 100 best companies to work for list outperformed the S&P 500 by 176% to 39% for the S&P 500. So conscious capitalism sees business as a system. It believes in honoring all of the parts of the system. And in order to do that, in order to manage all of those complex parts, it has to also have better management and better leadership, so no wonder conscious capitalists often outperform and sometimes really outperform the market as a whole. 